Kit, and this is my camper van, Willy. In September last year, I joined the van life community in the UK, exploring the local woods, parks, rivers, and waterfalls in the nearby counties, and having a few hair-raising adventures along the way. Recently, I went further afield, travelling to the southeast of England, where I revisited some of the places I'd enjoyed in my twenties. In the last few weeks, I've been taking a break for the good of my mental health, but now I'm back. Please subscribe to stay abreast of my ongoing van life journey. Okay, so I'm at a garage, a garage. I'm going to turn on the cabin lights so that you can see me a little bit better. And I'm going to try not to crash into anything because that would be bad. Um, well, I suppose the first order of business is to apologize profusely and sincerely for my absence. I've been away for over a month and I didn't realize it would be that long. I've been having a spot of depression. You know how it is. It's kind of ironic because uh, uh, what brought me back from the brink was um, a really lovely comment from uh, Philly and Keeley at Chapter by Chapter, a channel who both myself and my hubby absolutely adore. Um, we love the channel, Chapter by Chapter. Philly and Keeley are just brilliant van lifers, brilliant filmmakers, and lovely, lovely human beings. I mean, I'm not kidding when I say we love Philly and Keeley. So, out of the blue this evening, I received a comment from Philly and Keeley uh, complimenting me on my Elephant in the Van episode. I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. Um, but this particular episode um, was an episode that I was making having just recently been absent for a while due to depression. And I'd come back, made the Elephant in the Van episode uh, and talked about my depression. So. I'm not going to do that again here. Um, that would be boring and it would be repeating myself. Um, I had depression, I took some time off, I came back, I made elephants in the van and now I've moved on. It's just complete coincidence that this happens having just had another bout of depression. This time, much worse. Uh, I've been away for over a month um, and this time round, um, the gap was noticeable because I hadn't built up um, a backlog of episodes um, to tide me over. So um, I've been away for a while. And for that, I apologize because there is a small but very loyal and very kind-hearted uh, core group of viewers um, who view my episodes and leave me lovely, heartwarming comments, uh, which really keep me going through the bad times. Um, and I feel that I've let you guys down. I'm very sorry. Um, but here I am now. I'm uh, not promising that this will be the beginning of a new series or that I'll be uh, uh, releasing videos again with any sort of frequency. Um, but what I will be doing is trying as hard as I bloody can to get back on the horse um, because it's a horse that I love. It's a horse that I thoroughly enjoy riding um, and it's a horse that uh, is a very, very lovely horse. I've kind of got lost in the metaphor there. Um, thanks to Philly and Keeley um, sending me a lovely comment. I have uh, made the decision to come out in the middle of the night to do a little drive around um, have a chat with you um, and hopefully release this video as soon as possible um, so that you can see that I am still here and I still have every intention of returning to van life um, as soon as I can. However, um, here is the big announcement. Um, I'm not going to be doing regular episodes anymore, um, or at least I'm not going to be 
planning to do regular episodes anymore um, because I can't handle the pressure. Um, it's too difficult. I'm not strong enough uh, in my constitution to be able to maintain that level of pressure. Um, so what I will do is make videos whenever I feel like making videos and do them to the best of my ability and release them whenever um, is appropriate. And I really hope that that won't cause lots of people to unsubscribe because um, subscribers are kind of thin on the ground. Um, that being said, I've also had a massive sea change in my whole attitude to uh, YouTubing and van life in general. Um, I've realised I had wanted to be part of the cool club. I wanted to play with the cool kids and hang out with the cool kids and do van life just like the cool kids. Um, but I've now come to terms with the fact that I'm not one of the cool kids and I probably never will be. I'm me, I'm a unique individual and I can't try and play on the same playing field as a Premier League van lifers. I'm, it's just not within my skill set. Um, I can make some semi-decent films every now and then um, when my various mental health issues allow. The epiphany that I had is that uh, I'm no longer going to be chasing clicks and I'm no longer going to be at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm because I think the algorithm sucks. I think it's very unfair. It's very biased. Uh, it doesn't give you a fair crack at the whip. Um, so I'm no longer going to play that game anymore. I'm going to make videos for myself and I'm going to release them whenever I feel like it. And if anyone watches them, that's great. And if they don't watch them, I don't really care anymore. So anyway, so that's the announcement. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did actually try and make another van life video. <laughs> So I went out for a drive. Um, I was in search of a field, not a specific field, just any general field that I could park up in and spend a bit of time soaking up some sunshine and reacquainting myself with what made me fall in love with van life in the first place. Tears misting in her emerald eyes As everyone was standing I bleed by Trying not to watch or intervene As tears were streaming down her face Down her face Try, try, try to let it go Try, try, try to let it fall looking for a place that I can turn off and chill out in some fields. And there are fields all around me, but I can't find a route into the fields. I thought I just found one, but as it turns out, there was no unauthorised vehicles, according to the signage. I always obey the signage. So I believe I saw a little track just off to the right along here when I passed it before. 
Oh, is that it? This looks a bit dodgy. No, this isn't it. Damn, I've gone the wrong way again. Seven hours later. Private land. No public access or right of way. Well, that's very disappointing, isn't it? Struggling to find a place somewhere that I can go. Interesting. Well, this looks like a worthwhile place to have a look at. I've arrived at a place called Yew Tree Ponds and uh, I'm going to have a look. that was it. I explored the pond briefly to the extent that I walked around it once and then I got back in my van and drove home and I've been there ever since. Um, depression is a strange 
beast. Um, you can't force it. You can't just decide to not be depressed. Um, so I've pretty much been keeping my head down, um, keeping things simple um, and working through it. Um, and now hopefully I'm coming out the other side. Um, but only time will tell whether that's the case or not. Um, I was inspired by Philly and Keeley. Um, I've been inspired by every single one of you who has sent me lovely messages and comments of love and support. I really appreciate that. Um, I kind of need that in order to keep going uh, because, as you know, I lack confidence um, and also self-esteem and all that other stuff. So I struggle. Um, but um, recently, um, thanks to Philly and Keeley, um, I've suddenly had a little spurt of energy. And um, I'm grateful to them. I'm grateful to everyone who sent me nice comments. And I just apologise that I'm not able to make content as frequently and regularly as I would like. I'd love to do it every week, just like the other guys. Um, but I have to do it within my own means financially and also my capabilities in terms of mental health and well-being. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. I hope this, uh, although it hasn't been a particular interesting or exciting episode. I hope this um, plugs the gap just a little bit and lets you know that I am still here and I am still planning on maintaining my van life. Um, and until next time, thank you very much and I will see you later. Oh, and please, if you haven't already, do the decent thing, hit subscribe, hit the like button, share, comment, do all the good stuff because <laughs> I really need it. Anyway, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.